This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2512. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I started to be called the Big Game Hunter when I did recruiting. I would hunt down leaders and staff for organizations, did that for a heck of a long time, helping like 1,200 plus people find full-time positions and many others find consulting assignments. So I understand job search and finding work, and I now provide no BS career advice to people, which can involve hiring more effectively, managing, leading, better, dealing with workplace issues, as well as job search. So although this show is specifically around job hunting, I do a lot more than that right now. But the show started off as a job search show, so I'm sticking with that. And this one is specifically about a situation where firms want to see pay stubs. Why the heck do they want to do that? Hope you find this helpful and give it a great review wherever you listen to the show. And we'll be back in just one moment. They're asking for pay stubs. Why do they want my pay stubs? Well, let me translate here. You live in a place where it's still legal to ask what you're currently earning. And they're trying to verify through pay stubs what, whether what you told them is true. It's really that simple. So they're asking for pay stubs because they've been lied to previously, and they're trying to verify compensation. Now, before providing pay stubs, it, given that you're in a jurisdiction where it, it's still legal, I would ask them, is, are you planning on making an offer? Yes. What's the compensation that you're considering making an offer at? Well, we'll talk about that after we get the pay stubs. Well, I don't want to turn it over until I have a sense of what the compensation is that you're considering, because if it's not something I find acceptable, well, frankly, you know, there's no reason for you to have this. So always make them do more talking, make them do more explaining, make them more... Uh, accommodating rather than being a sheep. And if they try to bully you, if they try to push you, if they demand and say, we're not going to make an offer until we see the stubs, you have a choice to make at that point. Because what it tells me is they're not going to deal with you as a human being. You're always going to be treated like someone that they can push around. That's your choice. I'm okay with it. Are you okay with it? Can you turn around and say, I'd like to escalate this because, frankly, you know, I'd like to get a sense of what the offer is. And if you're not going to provide that to me, I'd just as soon walk away because I can provide them. I've, everything I've told you is true, but I don't see a reason why I need to turn this over to a corporation unless I'm prepared to say yes. So it's really that simple. Don't accept and don't be a sheep and do everything that someone tells you to do because it's their rule. You're not part of their system. You don't have to deal with their rules if you don't want to. You can. You can accept their demands. That's okay with me. But they want to pay stuff because they've been lied to previously, and thus they're starting off the relationship in a way that demonstrates they don't trust their people. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. Visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. Go to the site and go exploring. There's a lot there that will help you in the blog. And you can schedule time for coaching with me or a free discovery call. If you want to check me out first, I'd love to help you. Also, there's information about my courses, books, and guides. And if this isn't the right time for you to do that, just put that address in your phone, thebiggamehunter.us. And in the notes field, Put the term job search blog there. This way you can come back to me on a later occasion. Have a terrific day. Oh, by the way, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Be great.